Special senses, organ of olfaction, organ of vision. Any organ of special senses has receptor cells. There are two types of receptor cells in the body. Neurosensory, specialized neurons, it looks like bipolar neurons contain dendrite and axon. And sense epithelial cells, specialized epithelial cells, contain no dendrites and axons. Analyzes the system which analyzes environmental stimuli consist of peripheral part organ of special senses contain those receptor cells intermediate part and central part in the brain cortex the places where information from receptor cells analyzed and sensation appeared. The first organ of special senses which we will discuss is organ of olfaction. It's not the nose or nasal cavity but it's special part of it the olfactory mucosa of nasal cavity located somewhere in, uh, in superior nasal concha the square about 5 centimeters each side olfactory mucosa covered by olfactory epithelium it simple pseudostratified ciliated epithelium which lay at basal membrane consists of three types of cells olfactory neurosensory receptor cells supporting cells between and basal cells these small brown stain cells located near the basal membrane. Olfactory cells, specialized neurons that and right make extensions like bulbs. These long cilia contain chemoreceptors. Uh, sensitive to chemicals which enter the nozzle cavity with inspire air. Then those chemicals specifically connected with chemoreceptors, the ion canals open and wave of depolarization going and cells exciting and this excitation the wave of depolarization convey through the axons the bundle of axons of those neurons compose olfactory nerve and this information going to olfactory bulb and then to the olfactory brain cortex for analysis and the sensation of perfume, flowers, odor appeared. The supporting cells between they provide the optimal environment for receptor cells and support them. And basal cells, the stem cells or cambial cells which proliferate 
by mitosis and daughter cells, young cells appeared which replaced the older aged died olfactory and supporting cells in loose connective tissue on the basal, basal membrane the special Bowman's glands located the secret covered is covering the surface of olfactory mucosa and chemicals diluted there for better contact with chemoreceptors. The organ of vision, eye, much more complicated in structure and functions. It consists of eyeball and accessory apparatus, oculomotor muscles, lacrimal apparatus and eyelids. This is a sagittal section of eyeball. This figure demonstrates the main parts of eye, like lens, ciliary body and iris this pupil cornea anterior and posterior chambers vitrum body filled in the cavity of eye the optic nerve and blind spot Fovus centralis, the place of the best vision. Airball on the planar structure is line organ, consists of three membranes the outer fibrose membrane, still in blue, the middle vascular membrane. and inner retina fibrose membrane consists of unlucid part white in color sclera it consists of dense regular connective tissue and anterior part of fibrose membrane is cornea it's lucid the vascular membrane consists of choroid, the main part, and its derivatives, cellular body and iris. And retina consists of visual part. and blind part and this is a waving borderline or a serrata between and this is optic now this is a schematic structure of eyeball on sagittal section retina and these schematic drawn artificially increased in 10 times to show three layers of neurons. There is the cavity filled in the vitreous body, the optic nerve is blind spot, the fovea centralis, a lens and suspender ligaments, cellular body and cellular muscle and iris this pupil cornea and anterior and posterior chamber 
and certainly choroid and sclera and between sclera and cornea there is uh, limb there is sinus venosus slum canal cornea consists of five layers outer stratified non-keratinized epithelium inside simple squamous epithelium or endothelium it continues on the anterior surface of virus it leads in the anterior chamber and contact this aqueous humor special liquid which fill in the chambers this epithelial layer basal membrane and in the middle between there is dense irregular connective tissue but opposite to sclera is it's lucid it's specially organized and lucid no blood vessels there the feeding of cornea take place by diffusion from blood vessels of limb as well as by diffusion from aqueous humor of anterior chamber if as a result of some disease the blood vessels growing appeared in cornea it became unlucid white and gray in color the cornea had high magnification of microscope anterior and posterior epithelium basal membranes of epithelium called anterior limiting membrane and Bowman's membrane and posterior limiting membrane or decimates membrane this is a proper layer this picture demonstrate a free nerve terminals branching of dendrites of sensory neurons inside anterior epithelium some of them are pain receptors so cornea extremely sensitive for touching this is a vascular membrane of eye consists of choroid somewhere the ciliary body and iris you see the numerous arteries and uh, the eyeball stain in red and venous leave the blood from the eye stain in blue this is a pastoral wall of eyeball sclera choroid there are four layers supra choroid vascular contain uh, uh, large blood vessels capillary contain small blood capillaries and then basal membrane basal layer main function of uh, choroid is feeding of retina as well as absorption of excess of light light is going in this direction it goes through the retina to reach photoreceptors and then it should be absorbed by choroid containing a lot of melanocytes cells which synthesized pigment melanin which absorb the excess of light the light will not reflect 
This uh, derivatives of vascular membrane, iris, this pupil, and ciliary body. And this part of eye called angle of eye. It represented quite well in this picture. You see the cornea continuing to sclera and limp in this sinus venosus canal of Schlem. And you also see the conjunctiva. This is a cellular body. The cellular muscle in the basis, cellular body processes, suspensory ligaments which contact this lens and support it in the posterior chamber. Cellular body covered by pigment epithelia. It continues on pastoral surface of iris. And second, secretory epithelium. It's not so dark. It produces the aqueous humor of eye. This fluid filled in the pastoral chamber and uh, through the Pupil fill in anterior chamber and leave the anterior chamber through the canal of Schlem, where the aqueous humor, cellular body, suspensory ligament, and lens composed the apparatus of accommodation. This is vitreous body. This is blind or serrata and visual retina. So iris consists of five layers. It contains a lot of blood vessels and huge amount of melanocytes with melanin to absorb the light. The light cannot pass through the iris. There are also dilating sphincter popular muscle, which can increase and decrease the size of the pupil. Pigment cells, melanin responsible for the color of eyes. The more melanin, the darker the eye. The less mel amount of melanin, the lighter the eye. It became blue. If no melanin at all, the iris be and eyes became red in color because the blood in numerous blood vessels. Lens covered by capsule and under capsule is a numerous epithelial, cuboidal epithelial cells located. On the poles these cells proliferate by mitosis and they differentiate it and convert it slowly to the lens fibers. They lose it and contain the protein crystalline. The lens fibers and intercellular matrix is unlucid. And uh, light can go through the lens easily. Retina is the inner eyeball wall membrane. This is sclera, 
Roit and Roitina. The visual Roitina consists of ten layers. The first is pigment layer. The second the layer of rods and cones. It composed by outer segments of rods and cones. Then outer limiting membrane composed by processes of glial cell fibers or Müller cells. The first layer, the outer granular layer which contain the nuclei and bodies of rods and cones. Then outer plexiform layer consists of axons of receptor neurons, dendrites of bipolar neurons, and synapses between. Next layer, inner granular layer. It composed by the perichorons and nuclei of bipolar neurons as well as horizontal neurons and amacrine neurons as well as nuclei of glial cells. Next is internal plexiform layer contain axons of bipolar neurons, dendrites of ganglionic neurons, and synapses between. The eighth is ganglionic layer consist of large but rare ganglionic cells. The axons compose the layer of nerve fibers. And tenth, last layer composed by glial Müller cells. This figure demonstrate the chains of neurons first rods and cones second bipolar neurons and third ganglionar neurons the axons build the optic nerve and also glial cells Müller glial fibers and their processes produce two limiting membranes inner and outer this slide demonstrate the cellular organization of retina pigment cells these processes covering the outer photoreceptors segments of rods and cones. This is bipolar neurons and horizontal neurons. This is amacrine cell and ganglionic neuron which axons compose the optic nerve. In a glial membrane composed by processes of Müller fibers. This is road. There are 130 millions of them in retina and cones. This is nucleus and perichoron. This is internal segment. In cones there is lipid droplet there, covered by mitochondria. There are a lot of mitochondria also in rods. This is a visual analyzer, consists of three parts, 
peripheral its eye and there had shown the chains of three neurons this is intermediate part nerve pathway and this is the central part in visual brain cortex this slide demonstrates the sagittal section of eyeball for the centralis and optic nerve this blind spot blind spot and fovea centralis this is a fovea centralis or macula lutea in this place all layers of retina disappeared and light can directly reach the photoreceptors this is a optic nerve in this place the axons of billions of ganglionic cells axons collecting and leave the eye this picture demonstrates adaptation of retina to light this adaptation belong to the first pigment layer if the retina in light the pigment melanin moving to the processes of pigment cell and this is a retina in darkness in dark melanin granulus leave the processes and concentrated in pigment epithelium this is a general view of the eyeball these designations you can study this figure by your own I just only show you the location of vitreous body a jelly-like substance containing a protein vitrine and carbohydrate hyaluronic acid as well as few cells and urgental collagen fibers eye development from uh, two sources the extension of brain for retina initially it produces optic stock and optic vesicle it's grow and in that place in ectoderm the lens placot start to grow and lens vesicle appeared and it invaginate it push the optic vesicle and and an optic and there you can see two walls the outer the future pigment epithelium the first layer of retina and another wall and from uh, lens vesicle the lens appeared and from uh, ectoderm appeared also the epithelium of anterior epithelium of cornea vascular membrane and fibrous membrane composed from embryonic connective tissue mesenchyme